Kill your flesh. That's the title of this video. Yeah, I was on. Okay, you know, kill your flesh. Examples of killing your flesh. Um, Matthew twenty sixteen twenty four. I'm gonna I'm gonna start from verse twenty four all the way to verse twenty eight. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a profit? If is a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then the, he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be that some standing there which will not taste of death, and they will see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. It's important to kill your flesh. There are times like, you know, I feel like breaking my iPhone with a hammer. I feel like getting a hammer, smash my phone, break it in half. That's what I feel like doing sometimes. But obviously, at this moment, I need my phone. Because, like, if I get rid of my phone right now, how am I going to How am I gonna do my live streams? How am I going to preach? But, um, yes, guys, it's very important to kill your flesh. Fasting, prayer. Reading the word, that you're feeding your spirit when you read the word of God. You um, you feed your spirit. That's very important. Like you guys could call me a Jesus freak all you want. I'm proud to be a Jesus freak, because like earlier I went to the taco place across the street from my house. I took my RB 1960 Bible. Here, let me show you guys my Bible. I have more, by the way. I have the Catholic Bible, the ESB. But I don't really use it. This is my King James. King James only. Hello. This is my RB 1960. Spanish. And where I'm preaching from. It's. Spanish and English. Right here. It's important for us to kill your. To kill our flesh though because. If we're not commanded to turn away from your sin, why did why did Jesus say deny yourself? Many people, many hyper grace heretics, they say that you don't have to turn from, away from your sin to be saved. Actually, you do. Why why did Jesus say deny yourself? Because you have to die to your desires. You have to die to your flesh. You have to die to your flesh. You have to die to your desires. You have to die to your education, to your dreams. If you want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, like, as Christians, we're not called to be comfortable. If you know your iPhone, your Android, Samsung, because, you know, many young people, especially myself, we cannot live with, with our phones. We can't. We can live with our phones. And, um, you know, in one occasion, I was about to get hit by a car. It was my turn to cross the street. And this lady, I was in a, I was a babe in Christ. Like, I still had some issues going. Like, I will curse people out. I will, like, flick people off. I will scream the F word. Watch where you're going, you A-S-S-H-O. Yeah, I used to curse a lot. But Jesus cleansed me from that. I mean, I still struggle with cursing sometimes. But, you know, I, I use other words better. Um. My point is, the phone is becoming an idol. And, uh, and the Lord has shown me. Through a brother. Another way you deny yourself. Is by um by by you by staying away from your phone. Just check your messages, your phone call, your missed calls and leave. Leave your phone alone. Go like if you can't go out then you know, um then just read the word, you know? Look for the Lord. Look for his face. Look for Look for the Lord's face. You know, you have to cry out to God, my friends. Brother, sister. 
Family members, you need to cry out to Jesus Christ. When I when when I don't have when I'm off of Instagram, I use this. I know for most of us this is boring. I'll show you. I do this. I look for words on this thing when I'm bored. I haven't it's been like a month since I have it. I wanted like a huge one, a big one. But you know it's very important for us to kill our flesh, brethren. Oh, I'm only finding like three or four words over here. I, I don't work I work on this every day except Saturday and Sunday. I take my day off. Today's basically my free day, my free time. So I've been on my phone almost the whole day, through, almost throughout the day, and um, I feel bad about it, to be honest. Most of the time, guys. Yeah, I like word churches. Like, they're kind of boring, but if it has something to do with the Bible, but I'm, but I'm, I'm having a day off today with the word church. You know, that has been my goal for this year, is staying away from my phone. Because, you know, our phones are an idol. We can live without them. And when the Antichrist come, if you're still here during the Great Tribulation, overall here, because, again, like, I don't know when the rapture is going to happen. I don't know when. Because, like, I'm not God, you know. I don't know which doctrine is true, you know, pre or post or mid. I, 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 I don't know what I am. I say we always need to be ready. Make sure we're living a holy life. Make sure, you know, we're pleasing the Lord. Make sure we examine ourselves daily to see if we're in the faith or not. And, um, yeah. Yes, guys, um, you gotta make sure you feed your spirit. You need to deny your flesh. You have to kill the flesh, like, boom, 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 boom. You kill it with fasting and prayer, worship, the word. By being communion with God, that's how you kill your flesh. Like your flesh wants to be on the phone all day. Your flesh wants to be in bed all day. But you know the spirit is willing. We have to walk by the spirit and not by the flesh. Another verse I wanted to show you guys. You know in Romans chapter 12 verse 2. It came to my mind at one time. It came to my head. And we did this like almost two weeks ago with another Bible group. A sister in Christ invited me to this Zoom meeting. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not comfort to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may be proof what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly, than he ought to think, but to think soberly according think of every man among him but to think soberly according to as God hath dealt every man the measure of faith. I got distracted guys, sorry about that. This is why I don't like I don't like using my phone when I do live streams, but this is the only platform I could use to do this. I don't have like no tablet. Yes. If you need to get up your house, like if you feel tempted in your room, like there are times I have urges to masturbate over here. I mean, I have to admit it, guys, I cannot be a hypocrite, you know? I struggle with it, you know, with lust. I can I can't be a hypocrite. I can't. I gotta I gotta be honest. Yeah, excuse my hair, you know, I know I haven't had have a hair, haircut in a while. Excuse my haircut, my hair. I don't like it either, to be honest. I shouldn't have put gel on. But, um, yeah, whatever. Um. Amen, amen, amen. What was I going to say? Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, to be honest. I, I stood quiet. I was overthinking too much, but, um. Oh yeah, Galatians. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Another example, another verse that tells us to deny ourselves. That's part of self-denial. Because, you know, we're too comfortable in this world. We want the easy way. Yeah, bro, if you're bored or lonely, that's because... That yes! It happens. That's why sometimes... 
Most Sundays, I be home all the time. Like I had to call my teacher. I had to call my teacher from high school, and ask him if we could, if we could go at least for a ride. Like at least a ride to the beach, or a ride to to downtown. A ride. Now he drives me sometimes. My teacher is is such a is such a great man. He's not a Christian. He's not. I met him in high school in 2010. He takes his time. He he takes his time. He drives, you know, from his neighborhood. He he lives somewhere by um, Highland Park. I live in South LA. Those of you guys who live in LA know what I'm talking about. He drives 20 minutes or 25 minutes just to come and entertain me. And, you know, I can be a hypocrite, you know. I have to confess my sins. But, you know, Galatians chapter 5, verse 24 and 26 says, And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh, with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk also in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of being glory, provoking one another and being one another. I could go through the whole book of Galatians because Galatians chapter 5 talks about the, the Spirit and the flesh. What are the man manifestations in the, of the flesh? Let's go to verse 19. This is Galatians chapter 5. Now the works of the flesh... Are manifest, which are these adultery, which you know, um, lust, or you know, sleeping. If you're a married man or woman, but you're having sex, you know, with somebody else that's not your spouse, you're committing adultery. Fornication is sex outside of marriage, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, worshiping your phone, worshiping graven images, uh, spending time more with your boyfriend or your girlfriend more than you do with God, witchcraft. Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. One say the way says heresy. That's the manifestation of the flesh. Because also teach you to live in the flesh. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Envies, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such. Like of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, if you practice... Well, Galatians 5, 19 to 21 says, You will not inherit the kingdom of God. Therefore, hell awaits you. If you die in that sin, even myself, if I die in that state, I'm going to go to hell. What are the works of the Spirit? But the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians chapter 22, verse 23, is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. We're not to envy other people, guys. Amen, amen, amen. I mentioned Romans 12 because um, we can't, you know, give excuses to God, you know. That flesh needs to be killed. Another sin I used to deal with, I still deal with, I struggle with, especially because I've been in quarantine, is sloth, sloth. La being lazy. Being lazy is also a sin. Yeah, I had to work on that too. Um, being lazy is a sin also, you know, it's not good to be lazy. It's not good to be lazy, y'all. It's not good to be lazy. There are times I'm lazy to read the Bible, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, I had to work on that, you know, I cannot do it by myself. I need the, the, the Holy Spirit to help me. Now, when I'm too tired after a long day, I do read scripture. I read, like, most Sundays, I read two chapters of the Old Testament and one of the New Testament. When I'm very tired. When I'm tired. But I'll mostly be on track. I finished the book of Revelation last Saturday. I started Matthew this Sunday. I'm I'm in Matthew right now. And I'm in First Chronicles. And I like to brag about. But I'm planning to. I, I have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation before. The whole thing. I'm not going to lie. Like you know. It didn't do me no good. Because there's some three things I don't understand from the Old Testament. I don't. I just read it. But that's why I had to pray. You know. So I could like. You know, study well the scriptures. 
But, yes, guys, it's important to cut your flesh, you know? Same with you who are, if you're married, you know? This goes for the couples, you know? If you're a married woman or a married man, you shouldn't be lusting after someone who's not your husband or your wife. You shouldn't. You shouldn't, um, you know, you shouldn't, you know, that's not good, you know, those, that's of the flesh, you know, you have to pray and fast. Fasting and prayer is very important. I've been teaching this, like, for a while now. I don't have no books, to be honest. Um, I like Psalms, Proverbs, Galatians, James, First John, John, the Gospel of John, Matthew, Luke, and Mark. I like the four Gospels, all of them, the four. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's how I started my Christian walk. I read the New Testament first. Well, I'm not going to lie. I got into Revelation. That was my main mistake. I got into Isaiah. I got into Jeremiah. You know, which talks about the judgment. Like, not all, not everything from the Old Testament has been, been, um, been fulfilled yet. But I'm getting in there, you know. I know the Lord's gonna use me in, in, in mighty ways, you know that I don't I don't understand. He he is. He's gonna use me, so I got, I, I, it's been prophesied, you know, like I belong to this um ministry called Hebron. My church is Papa from Hebron Ministries in Guatemala. I see myself in preaching in many churches too, but uh, maybe I want to. I would love to, but I don't know if the Lord is ever going to lead me to preach in the churches or just be the listener. Because, of course, uh, my calling is evangelist. You know, I'm an evangelist, Brian Doubles Quintanilla, for the glory of uh, God. You know, maybe this is why, you know, the Lord's keeping me single for now, because he wants me to focus on him only. And I'm in love with him. I'm in love with Jesus. But yes, guys, um... That's all I gotta say, you know, kill your flesh. Kill that flesh. If you feel tempted in your room, get off your room. Get off your room. Go to the park, go to the front yard, or go to a public place if you cannot handle, if you can spend 10 seconds without masturbating. If, if you watch porn on your phone, grab a hammer, smash the phone, break it or whatever you need to do. I was about to do that, but like the only reason I, like you know, but many people you know are are so obsessed with iPhones. You know, ah, I want the iPhone, I want the iPhone 12, I want the iPhone 13. Like, oh my goodness, it it really annoys me. It blows my mind when I hear. What about? I want to repent. I want to turn to Jesus. I I want to I want to follow Jesus Christ. That's the, that that was the you young people supposed to be saying. Not not no new iPhone. That's temporal. Because sooner or later, when the market the when the B system arrives. You're going to have to get rid of your phone. Because you're going to be an easy target. I know this has nothing to do with, with what I'm talking about. But you have to smash your phone. During the seven year tribulation. And flee the city. And keep your circle small. And again, you know, I don't know what I am. I don't know if the rapture is going to happen before. Or after the great tribulation. I, I don't know. I don't know. I used to think it's going to happen. I used to be preacher, by the way, but I'm not here to preach, to talk about it, you know. I mean, I just think... Um, I mean, if the Lord gives me a clear understanding about tribulation, rapture, great tribulation, pre-tribulation, rapture, or post-tribulation, rapture, I will make a study and I will make a teaching about it, but since I don't know too much about it, because I don't want to confuse you guys. Because on the day of judgment, I'm going to give an account for every word I'm speaking. Yes, exactly. We need to be ready. Whatever comes first. The, the Great Tribulation is coming. The Seven Year Tribulation. The Rapture of the Church. And the Second Coming of Jesus Christ. Those three events are 100% Biblical. And they're going to come to pass. Regardless of what view you stand on. It's going to come. Sometimes I think we're already here already. But we just haven't realized it. But I really don't know. I, I, we really, we really, I, I really don't know what, if we are in the Great Tribulation. I mean, if we were then... Uh, Everybody will die because 
you know, somewhere in Revelation it says that when the fourth seal opened, um, 25% of the population is going to die worldwide. I mean, the reason I used to think we were in, in the Great Tribulation was because of the coronavirus. You know how they say, you know, that, that a lot of people die and... But we're not there yet because I believe that goes in order. First, there's going to be a false peace. Quote, unquote. It's going to be false. There's going to be peace on earth because everybody wants peace. Everybody's looking for the Antichrist right now. Oh, um, that's something for another video. But I just wanted to clarify you guys my experience. Like, I used to think we were we were in the... I think I was post-trip before, but I just didn't know too much about this doctrine of views. I think I was post-trip. Because, like... I hear when the Christ well, there's Christians being persecuted in, in other places. And many people are blind. They say that it's not gonna happen here. Yes it is. Yes it is. That's why it's not time to be comfortable. It's kill your kill the flesh. Fast. Pray. Get on your knees. Cry out to Jesus. Whatever sin you're doing, let it go. Ask God for forgiveness. Cry out to Jesus. Whatever I don't, I don't care if you're pre trip, post trip, pre tribulation, wrath. Um, nothing, or I don't care if you're mid trip, I don't care if you're um, coronavirus trip, trip, or I don't care if you're Ebola trip, I, I don't, I don't care what you are. Get ready, get on your knees, ask God for forgiveness. Well, you could pray however you want, though, like you know, I mostly stand up or I walk while I pray, though, but please get ready. Repent of your sins. Trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And ask God for forgiveness. Please do. Please. Please. So, that's all I have to say, guys. You know, it wasn't that long. But, you know, I want to thank you guys for joining. May God bless you guys. And I hope you guys got something out of this video. Remember, deny yourself. Pick up your cross daily. Follow Jesus Christ. It's... More of Jesus, less of you. In my case, it's less of Brian Lobos and more Jesus. More of him, less of me. That's how you deny yourself and pick up your cross. Less of you, more of him. God bless.